after gluing along the dotted line around your coaster and allowing it to dry completely, you can cut the coaster out and prepare it for hemming by giving it a quick steam press with a wet towel. Then you're going to take your hot iron and press your excess monk's cloth around as you fold in your hem. This allows it to hold the crease better and make it easier to sew. Um, you're going to fold that excess monk's cloth in half tucked under itself and either press it again or use clips to hold the cloth in place so you can begin hemming. We recommend a heavy duty needle with a strong button and carpet thread since you're going to be pushing that needle through several layers of cloth as well as the yarn. Um, you're going to start by pulling a knot in your thread and hide it by coming up through the underside of the hem. Then stitch along the perimeter of the entire coaster by just catching the edge off the hem and pushing the needle slightly under the hem to dig it under the punched area. Now make sure that you punch down enough to catch the cloth and not just your yarn that'll pull out your loops but not so far that the stitches show on the finished loop side. This is called the ladder stitch and it'll actually hide your stitches really nicely. Uh, once you've gone all the way around you're going to tie a small knot at the end to finish. You're going to trim it flush and voila you're going to have a coaster.